Cuba is commemorating an important day in Fidel Castro's revolution, and this year it took place in the province of Pina del Rio. As our Hats of Ella reports, today marks the 64th anniversary of the July 26th movement, but this year's ceremony showed hints of future changes. It was 64 years ago today, Fidel Castro and his band of rebels stormed the Moncada Army Barracks in Santiago de Cuba, an early attempt at overthrowing Fulgencio Batista. July 26 is now called a National Day of Rebellion. But the tone was deeply political. Speech after speech touting Cuba's virtues, its independence, its sovereignty and resolve all mixed in with anti-American, anti-imperialist messages. Despite a heavy campaign to now maintain and further develop U.S.-Cuba relations, and you know what that means. We got a dose of scorn against President Donald Trump, who vowed to undo Obama policy, but experts will tell you barely changed much in recently announced policy. This year's event significant for two reasons. One, this is likely the last time Raul Castro will be here as president. Also, the first time folks who gather here are here without the presence of Fidel Castro. Tape speeches of the older brother who passed away in November kicked off the event. Raul Castro front and center at today's event. The 86-year-old who has vowed to step down in February of next year sat almost side by side with Miguel Diaz-Canel, the man often mentioned as a possible successor. Sin la presencia física del comandante jefe. But it was Jose Machado Ventura, Cuba's second vice president, who took the stage and spoke mostly praising Pinal del Rio for its accomplishments, but also tossing Cuba into the world stage. It has been reported Cuba might be playing a role with other Latin American countries in trying to find a solution to the Venezuelan crisis. Cuba rechaza rotundamente tales insinuaciones. Machado Ventura today denied it. And as for the future of Cuba, this woman says nothing will change because Cubans have revolutionary convictions. And this man says Fidel Castro's legacy will last an eternity. In Pinal del Rio, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News.